It's officially day one of NBA 2K22. You guys know I've been in the lab. I've tested out the best jump shots. I've tested out the best dribble moves. And that's exactly what I have for you in this video. Now look, before I get into the actual video, if you guys are new to the channel or you haven't already, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton and drop a like. It only takes one second and dropping a like helps me out a ton. So I would really appreciate it if you could do that. So let's not waste any more time. The best jump shot and the best dribble moves in NBA 2K22. Let's get right into it. So before anything, I want you guys to see what build I'll be using. And that is a playmaking shot creator. It is basically the build that I showed you in my top five best build video that I just uploaded yesterday. So I'm gonna show you guys my dribble moves right after this gameplay. But I want you guys to keep in mind that in this gameplay, I'm an 88 overall, which isn't horrible, but I do not have very many badges. You just saw I have Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter and Silver Chef and Bronze Green Machine. So I have seven total shooting badges and nine total playmaking badges. That's the amount of badges I had during this gameplay right here. But you see, the dribble moves that I'm showing you, the dribble moves that I have on are just fast combos. Now, before anybody goes and comments and says, you're horrible at dribbling, this and this, guys, I've never been known as a dribbler. My play style is to use the most effective moves. So my moves, the moves that I give you guys aren't gonna be the super crazy, oh my God, that was a crazy combo, that looked super sick. No, the moves that I always give you guys and I always use are the most effective. The easiest ways to get open that also look cool, right? I don't care how flashy it is, I just care that it gets you open effectively, which these dribble moves that I'm gonna show you right after this gameplay do. You see, I love using the behind the back, I love using the new rhythm dribble, I think it's a signature size up that I've been using where you tap up on the analog stick, and guys, I'm still learning. I'm not a good dribbler at all yet, but once I do get these dribble moves down packed and I learn it, that's when you guys are gonna see something crazy. So let me show you guys exactly what I have on. Now, if you've been watching me since NBA 2K20, you see what my jump shot's called, 98LA45. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys the exact blending. It is a custom jump shot, but like I said, if you watched me in 2K20 or 2K21, you already know what this is. But before I get into the jump shot, let me show you guys my dribble moves. These are all the dribble moves that I have on right now. You guys see, I experimented with them. I tried a few different signature size ups. These are without a doubt the best two. I just like Kemba better. Baron Davis is also really good. Same with signature combos. I like Trey Young, but these two are also really good. And I'm not gonna go through them all, but the rest are right here. My dribble moves and what I think are the best dribble moves as of right now on day one of NBA 2K22. Now keep in mind guys, every new season, so every six weeks, new dribble moves will be added to the game. So these aren't gonna be the best dribble moves all year long, just cause new ones will be added into the game. For example, Steph Curry, signature size up, when that's added to the game, everyone's gonna use it because of the Curry slide. So there are my dribble moves, and then I'll show you guys this gameplay right here, and then after this gameplay, I'll show you guys my jump shot. Now please remember what I was saying in the beginning of this video. Number one, guys, the game's only been out a day. Now, as of right now, yes, these is what this is what I think the best dribble moves are currently. Is it 100%? No question confirmed. These are the best dribble moves in the game. No, okay? Is this the best jump shot in the game? Honestly, in my opinion, yes. I don't think it can get any better than this jump shot. And you guys know, if I do find a better jump shot, if I do find better dribble moves, I'm not just gonna release a whole new same video like this. If I ever do that, I'm just gonna do a, a, normal up, a normal upload and I'll show you guys exactly what my jump shot and my dribble moves are. Like, if I just do a regular gameplay. So make sure, if you guys aren't, you're subbed to the channel and you guys watch my videos because I will always, always, always update you on what my dribble moves or my jump shot is or if I make a new build, right? The reason I'm not showing you guys my build in this video 
is because my build is the build that I showed you guys in my last video, the top five best builds. It's the six foot three play shot, which is in my opinion, the best build, but I've done enough talking. I know you guys want to see it. Let's get into the jump shot. But now what you guys have been waiting for the jump shot what i think is the best jump shot in the game and honestly what's been the best jump shot since 2k20 this has been the best jump shot for three years straight so you start off with base 98 remember 98 la45 is what i call it release one upper release lamarcus aldridge that's why it's la and upper release two if you've caught on by now release 45 Jump shot 98, LaMarcus Aldridge, release 45. But you don't go max release speed. You do three quarters release speed, because trust me, it's fast enough. You guys saw in those gameplays. And the blending is not 50-50, it's 65-35. And like I said, I have been using this exact jump shot since 2K20. I, I believe I created this jump shot towards the end of 2K20. And then once I put it on on 2K21 current gen, I never took it off. So base 98, LaMarcus Aldridge, release 45, 65, 35. That is the best jump shot in NBA 2K22. So yeah, it's looking like another year of base 98. Now, if you guys play on next gen, this jump shot works on next gen. These dribble moves work on next gen. Anything on current gen is the same on next gen. The only thing different between the two games is the builder, right? The builder is literally the only difference between this, the two games. They have the same movement, the same jump shots, the same dribble moves. Everything's the same. So if you're watching this and you play next gen and you're like, cool, can you upload what's the best dribble moves or what's the best jump shot on next gen? Well, it's the same in this video, so you don't really have to uh, you don't really have to go and find a new next gen video to watch that. And if you do watch my videos, I'm gonna be focusing on current gen this year. I, I did make a player on next gen. I started off on next gen. When the game came out at midnight, I went on next gen, I made a player, I played for about three to four hours, and I just thought to myself, I, I think I would have more fun on current gen. I, I like current gen more than this. So I went to current gen, I made this player, and I was right. I do think current gen as of right now, in my opinion, just this is just me. I'm not saying it's, it's, it's better, it's obviously better. In my opinion, I think it's better. Everybody can have a different opinion. If you like next gen, you like next gen. Personally, I like current gen better. But yeah, you guys saw my jump shot. You guys saw my dribble moves. Like I said earlier, I will always, always, always update you if I ever change any of those. But with about two minutes left in the video, I want to let you guys know my first initial thoughts on NBA 2K22 current gen, okay? So as of right now, I love the game. I actually really enjoy it. The movement is different. I'm not saying the movement is bad, but it's different. Same with the dribble moves. So it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. Like you see in these gameplays, I'm not gonna say I'm moving like a bot, but I'm definitely not moving like a like a pro. Like you, you're not gonna watch these gameplays and be like, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Quill, you're the best guard this year. Quill, you are nasty this year. Cause the way I play, you guys know, I'm good. I'm always gonna be good. I play with high IQ, I play smart. I, I know how to score the ball. I know how to play defense. I'm always gonna be a good player, but it, it, I'm not the flashiest player, as I said earlier. So yeah, I'm, you guys might not think I look flashy, but I get the job done and that's exactly what both these dribble moves and this jump shot will do. Oh yeah, and by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed throughout uh, these gameplays that I've been showing you, but I have been doing the little quick stop. And if you knew how to do the quick stop in 2K21 current gen, then you know how to do the quick stop in NBA 2K22 current gen because it is the same exact thing. If you're running to the right, let go of RT, tap your right analog stick to the left and then shoot. If you're running to the left, let go of RT, tap your right analog stick to the right and then shoot. You see, I do it right there and I shoot that contested shot, 26% contested shot in his face and I green it because of how fast I get my speed boost, I get my quick stop and this jump shot is really, really fast. Even though it's three fourths speed, it's still a fast jump shot. You guys saw that shot right there. And this next shot that I'm gonna take right here, you see, even though my jump shot is three quarters speed instead of full, it's super, super fast. And I do not think you should make a full speed jump shot 
in 2K22 current gen or 2K22 next gen. I think that the, uh, the three quarters is the best. But this video is coming to a close. You guys are going to see this last shot here if you're still watching. Please do not hesitate to drop a like because that helps me out a ton. It helps get these videos out to more people and it just helps me out in general. You see that shot I just greened. If you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like, sub if you're new, and I'm out.